Playing games on the Apple Watch might not be the first thing that comes to mind, but I do understand there are situations when you have nothing to do and you just want to find a fun way to pass time. So if you're in class, a waiting room lobby, or you're still at work and you don't have access to your phone, here are a list of games that don't suck that you might consider playing in those situations. This first one is called Break the Balloons and it has a Flappy Birds vibe. It's free to download and the art style and the graphics aren't that bad. The control layout is self-explanatory. Simply tap the screen to pop those balloons, avoiding the cat as well as the floor and the roof. And the goal of the game is very simple. Pop as many balloons as you can and the highest score gives you more money. With those new items, you unlock new skin. There's no microtransactions or anything like that. And so, for a free game, this isn't as bad. Now, this next one on our list is called Memory Game. And what it is, is basically a match two card game, where you simply flip cards to match them as quick as possible. The game becomes more difficult as you progress, as it continues to add rows. But once you surpass level two, you need to pay a dollar to unlock the rest of the levels. So although this one is the only one that isn't a free to play game, I still added this on our list because it plays so well on the Apple Watch. And for a quick memory game like this, it was definitely enjoyable. Now this next one had to get a reskin, as it once was called Sonic Dash, but due to legal issue, they had to redo everything and now you can find it named Dare the Monkey. It's a quick runner style game, almost like Mario All Run, where you simply just tap to jump and you just long hold for a farther jump distance. And you try to pretty much survive as long as possible. Yeah, you could set the trend here that these games are going to be mostly survivor games. But for a free game, this isn't bad. And then you also get force touch controls, so it's a pretty cool game. Now moving on, if you feel like a gunslinger after playing Red Dead Redemption like I have, you might want to go ahead and check out Guns and Bottles. It's a game that pretty much tests out your reflex skills. It's a fun free shooter game where the bottles are constantly changing each and every time you shoot one, continuing to challenge your reflexes. But now, let's say you're not a huge fan of touchscreen games, especially on this small display, but you want to go ahead and try a mainstream classic, then definitely go ahead and check out Pong for the Apple Watch. If you ever played Pong before, it's a really straightforward game, but this one actually utilizes a crown wheel to control it and gives you a full hectic feedback that gives you a full satisfying feel when playing it. It's free to download and the score layout as well as everything else is just nicely done. So if you love having the classics on your wrist, definitely go ahead and check out this one. Continuing the classic game trend, go ahead and check out Swifty XO. You gotta get Swifty in here. I just had to add that. Sorry I put you through that. But it's the one without the CH. But it's just your nice tic-tac-toe game that gives you the option to change the AI difficulty or play against between you and a friend. And you can actually force touch to reset the score or the field. And that's uh, pretty much it for this tic-tac-toe game. Everything else, everybody should at least know by now. This next one is called Bubblegum Hero. It's a basic but challenging game where you tap and hold to then release once the bubblegum is between the two circles. You simply continue doing this to try to beat your high score. It's a timing based game and it's easy single hand control definitely makes this into a fun but challenging game. But now let's say you want more of a full game with mission and side quests. Then go ahead and check out Time Unit. It has a superhero theme where you fight bad guys by quickly looking at the critical hits and timing it everything correctly. So you could quickly take them out before they take you out. This game does have a grinding feel because so many levels they clear out in real world time. So you gotta wait 10 minutes or five minutes to wait for the next level to be ready for you. But if you guys enjoy this grind, then this game definitely might suit you. And continuing to cover these grinding style games, go ahead and check out Field Day. It's a companion app game that you could run on your iPhone to do simple quests to help the town folks which then they reward you with new products and you could produce them and sell them to make money faster. You interact with the town folks on the companion app to unlock new quests, which then they will reward you with new products to then produce. You could then continue the grind on your Apple Watch where you can actually place these items and crop them to sell and make more money. 
So if these grind games are more of your style, definitely go ahead and check out these games. Now this next one is called Space War Defense and honestly makes absolutely no sense, but it is somehow enjoyable. It's a Space Invader style game, but without the consequences of having a couple of lives. It's a time based game where you try to shoot down as many ships as possible within a time period to try to gather as much coins as possible, but that's pretty much the entire concept to this game. Sonic Racers is our next one, not to be confused with actual Sonic. It is another simple archaic style game where the objective is just to simply dodge objects and survive as long as possible. It's simple, but with that very fast loading, you can simply get back right into the game and continue dodging objects. So if you enjoyed object avoiding games, definitely go ahead and check this out. Now an honorable mention that I can leave is Pokemon Go. If you have an Apple Watch and you play Pokemon Go, the Apple Watch is the ultimate companion for this. With the app, you can actually continue doing what you're doing, but be notified whenever there's a Pokemon nearby, or you could collect items from a Pokestop all off your wrist without taking out your phone. And you can continue hatching your Pokemon by just having the app running in the background. It will actually keep track of your distance that you traveled. And it will also show this progression on the watch face as a complication. It's a great game if you know you're going to be doing a lot of walking, so why not make it more entertaining by having this application running in the background. But there we have it folks, that was a total of 12 games that I found that actually worked surprisingly really well off the Apple Watch. If there was a game that you really liked on this list, make sure to give it a thumbs up button, as that not only lets me know, but that also helps support the channel. Don't forget to also subscribe if you're not, so you don't miss any more tech content videos like this as I pretty much just enjoy sharing everything with you guys. And if you also want to find out some of the must have apps for the Apple Watch, make sure to check out this video on the little iCard or click on the link in the video description down below. But as always, thanks everyone for watching, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.